What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you live once again. Today I am sitting here with Panzer from the YouTube channel Trade Chat, and today I'm going to be answering some questions um, from her fans. So if you are ready, fire them at me. So our first question comes from Yadiel, and he asks, "Do you have a girlfriend?" I do not have a girlfriend. I have a fiance actually. She just leveled up. Um, we got engaged in July, at the end of July, and uh, we're looking to get married. I think we're aiming for September 2013. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So the next question comes from Josh, and this is like a little bit more serious of a question, so I apologize. But he says, do you think that being yourself is the best outcome in the long run compared to being someone who tries to be someone else? I think you have to be true to yourself if that makes any sense like you know you have to if you're a gamer you need to game you need to be that person if you're interested in science you need to study science if you want to be uh, if you want to be a doctor you need to go into medicine but you know at the end of the day if what you're really interested in is, is something somebody's trying to pressure you into you don't want to do that you've got to be yeah. true to yourself but I think there's a lot of self-improvement that 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 is is in being a better person trying to to create a better person and be that person a lot of people don't know this about me but because I grew up in an abusive home in a bad situation very poor and kinda of miserable I was a shitty person I'll, I'll call I'll call it the way it was I was a pretty awful person I did some pretty awful stuff but when I relocated to the town I live in now Fayetteville Arkansas I saw an opportunity to reinvent myself and so was I being myself every day no I was trying to be a better version of myself I was striving to be better and be stronger and achieve more and yeah. the more I pretended to be that person the more I became that person but yeah. I think that it was always true to who I wanted to be that that emotion that voice that guides you in your head said you need to be a better person you need to be stronger I stayed true to that you know? Yeah. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but you've got to be what you want to be. Um, mm -hmm. but you also want to be a better version of that. Yeah. Right? You know, got to strive to reach that goal. Yeah, that's a really good answer to that question. Thank you. Okay, hang on, I gotta lean. Okay. The next question comes from Kyle, and he wants to know what did you want to be when you were a little kid? Oh, geez. Let's see. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a fireman like my dad. Um, I wanted to be a coal miner like my dad. Um, <laughs> same dad, for the record. Uh, no, not like two dads or anything. Um, <laughs> not that I, there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I wanted an astronaut. I still want to be. I still want to be the first fat guy in space. If you guys can hook up at NASA, you give me a call. Um, but um, eventually, I knew that I wanted to go into acting. I knew that I wanted to be a stand-up comic of some sort. I wanted to be the next George Carlin, the next Lou Anderson, the next, um, you know. But at, at the end of the day, though, um, I've become a sit-down comedian, and it's way more, <laughs> actually. <laughs> That's hilarious, a sit-down comedian. Um, Mary wants to know, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or 100 horse-sized ducks? Jesus, horse-sized ducks is terrifying. I oh, know. God. <laughs> Uh, but a hundred their beaks are... could you imagine they'd be like this big <laughs> if I could fight a hundred duck sized horses though that would just be fun just kind of I mean I, I don't want to you know I'm not like into animal cruelty or anything but if they're trying to kill me I'm going to kill them I'm going to make a big pile of glue at the end of the day that's going to be awesome oh my gosh that's terrible and hilarious I can just imagine they'd be like cats with hooves <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness are they duck shaped though? They, do they look like ducks with the little horse heads? Maybe or are they like centaurish or something? I don't know. No, I think they're just miniature horses. Although I might not have the adequate information to answer that question. Now I want that as a pet so bad. A but horse that, duck. Yeah, a horse duck it would be the best thing. Have you ever seen the show Avatar: The Last Airbender on Nickelodeon? Um, I think it's hilarious how in that show all the animals do not have creative names. They're like lion bears <laughs> or, or 
turtle dragons or that's they they would have they would have duck horses like if ever a duck horse did exist it would be in the realm of ang yeah but then if, <laughs> if we did have duck horses that we call them that too we're not that creative either here either just there's a freaking duck horse look at it <laughs> i don't know though we have platypuses and that's a duck otter or something like that or duck beaver those things are creepy do you know how they have stingers weird. they have stingers they have stingers where they have, like, a poisonous stinger that comes out of like uh, they're under they're terrifying. Ew. Oh god, that's so scary. I know and they lay eggs but they're mammals. I don't know what's going on. Here's what I think is going on. I think god was fucking with us that day. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just like what parts do we have left over? Okay, we got a platypus, we got a tail, we got a it's a mammal, but we have the egg laying part, shove that in there. Give it a poisonous stinger and a duck bill. Go. We're done. Go. <laughs> it's, We're done uh, here. That's that's a messed up animal. I don't think I like it anymore. I especially don't like that it has a stinger. That's creepy. I don't know if that's true. I actually I cannot. I do not have a fact checker on hand, but I remember hearing they have poisonous stingers. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. Could you imagine like just minding your own business, like fishing at the lake, and just minding your own business, and then you accidentally catch a platypus, and then it like attacks you with its tail, stinger, and bill? It'd be awful. That would have actually like. Been... Do they have duck mm -hmm. bills? Are they like breadcrumbs? You just throw breadcrumbs on it and run away. I've never seen one in real life. They seem kind of like they might be an abomination to see in real yeah. life. I'm fairly certain they're Satan incarnate. <laughs> okay, all right. We're gonna get off the topic of hybrid animals. Um, the last fan question I have for you is from Michael, and it says this question is actually for Francis, and he wants to know: Have you warmed up to pandas? Well, let me tell you something. I've been, I, I haven't got a chance to get into the beta because they don't want me in it because they said I'm going to make too many angry videos. So what I did was I've been watching Wow Hobbs and I've been watching uh, Panzer and I've been watching their videos and uh, they, I, I especially like trade chats because they're, she's kind of cute. But, uh, so <laughs> I've been about the beta and it seems so cool. And I'll tell you a little secret not a lot of people know. There's a character, there's a character, there's an NPC named Francis, and I don't know if it's named after me, but I bet it is named after me, because if they don't name it after me, I'm going to kill somebody! I'm sure it's named after you, Francis. Don't worry. Let me tell you something. I'm really looking forward to Mrs. Pandaria. I'm glad that I don't have to wait too much longer. I know. Do you want to play with me, Francis? We play? Can we play right now? Can I do you have an well, extra account? Uh, yeah, I, I totally actually do. Oh, let's totally play. We're going to do it. <laughs> right now. Okay, so that is it for our fan questions. Do you have anything else that you want to say before we wrap it up? Uh, I just want to say thanks, guys. Um, it, for those of you who have seen my stuff before and who subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share them, you made my life a way better than it was probably going to be. Without an audience, without you guys, I'd have very little to be proud of. I'd be very unhappy. I'd be miserable. You guys have changed my life for the better. You've made my life worth living, and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much. And for those of you who are new to me and new to my content, come on over. There's a little bit of something for everybody. There's life lessons. There's entertainment news. There's gaming news. There's mayonnaise. It's, there's everything. It's true. If you are coming from my channel to this channel to see Boogie, I would highly recommend subscribing. He is incredibly entertaining and insightful. I'm a big, big fan. Thank you. And I highly recommend you check out his stuff. Thank you so much. You're so polite. 